on Strike It Lucky tonight, a jackpot of £3,000. Live life to the full, sparkle with a case of champagne. Just the thing for the busy person, the latest in labour-saving microwave ovens. Or holiday with the movie stars, stay in a dream hotel in Marbella. All these prizes to be won tonight on Strike It Lucky. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Michael Barrymore. Nice to see you. You all right? Yep. All right, about? <laughs> nice to see you. Welcome. It's Cindy. Yes. Oh, oh you showed me your badge here, Cindy. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, do what? <laughs> Nothing. Oh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, there we go. We're off. Uh, so, how's things? You're Jack, are you? Yes, I'm Jack. And where are you from, Jack? Romford. Romford. And yourself? Yeah, I'm from Romford too. Yeah, you, Def live, you live together? I hope Most so. Most of the time, been, yeah. We've been married a long time. Oh, have you? 48 yeah. years. Yes, same, same, same one. Well, I hope so. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I still, I'm still getting to know him, actually. Yeah. So, what do you do for a living for all those years? Well, electricians. We were electricians working together. You were electricians. Yes, well. I was. Oh, yes. you must be one of the first. Then, I, you? I was the one train. of the first ladies wearing bib and brace oh, yeah, up the we... ladders on building sites, and that yeah. was terrible. Don't him about. I'm knocking him about. I'm only touching him. <laughs> no, it's, only, it's like it's like a in, sort of like a, a nice oh, tap, a like little, a little. Like, oh, I know what you studio. mean. Yeah. <laughs> there, I've done that now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> it's, it's, you're both electricians, and this boy is, uh, works for electrician. Do you, are you an electrician? No, I'm not. Actually. Oh, you're no. not? All right, OK, fine. We'll forget that. No. <laughs> so you work for Basic them. maintenance. Yeah. Right, and, and Debbie? I work for a computer company in the personnel department. Right. You got any hobbies? Yeah, losing at football. Losing at football. <laughs> <laughs> All done that in that time. And Every Sunday. Um, collecting records and... What, what's your favourite one? What, track? Yeah. Oh, well, I like Only the Lonely and... Roy Yeah, a bit oh. of that. Yeah. Love it. Can you, can you sing it? Well, if, <laughs> if, you, if you help me out, I'll do it. Okay. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. I'll wait. To resign me off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> dum, 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 dummy do oh, yeah, yeah. Dum, 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 oh, only the lonely. Only the lonely. Dum, 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 dummy do oh. Know the way I feel tonight. Dum, dum, and only the lonely oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. know this feeling ain't right. Oh, Not too close, bro. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there goes my baby. Ba, 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 ba. There goes my heart. Ba, 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 ba. They're gone forever. I gone forever. But so far apart. But only the lonely. Dum, 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 dum. Know why I cry only the lonely. You didn't know it. Nice <laughs> <laughs> well voice. Okay, Debbie. I'll see you on the other side. Nice to meet you. And Jack. Yeah, thank you, All right. Thank now. You, thank you. And whereabouts are you from, Jack? Uh, from Andrew, outside Belfast. I have yes. a little present for you. Oh, you bought a shillelagh? It's a shillelagh. Oh, and that's what's all about. Island. Yep. Uh, I don't uh, matter how hard it is. You can put in your yeah. top pocket there. Right? <laughs> put in your top pocket. Put it in my well, pocket. Well, you haven't got a pocket. Oh, yeah, I've got yeah, a top put pocket. It there. What, put it in what there. do you want yep. it in there for? I'll tell you something. <laughs> uh, is it for luck? That is for luck, yeah. What, for me? No, for me. Oh, I see. Look at the Irish. And there's, uh, there's that, yeah, that's right. right. Now, this is Valerie. How do you yeah. do, Valerie? I said hello earlier, I think. Yeah. But, uh, and where about you from? Antrim. As well? Yeah. Is this Dad? Mm -hmm. Dad, yes. Yeah. Dad. Yeah. You come all the way over to play the game. That's right. I see you. Anything funny happened to you that you can tell us about? 
Um, well, I had a bit of a well, it could have been a disaster in my honeymoon, but it turned out quite well. <laughs> um, my husband had always promised me we could spend our wedding night in a castle. It was a dream of mine, and sure you want to enough, be the princess. Oh, this is it, oh, princess right. for a night. He booked what he thought was a, a castle hotel in County Armagh, and we arrived, and uh, we came in. It was Easter weekend, Easter Saturday, mm -hmm. only to be told that we weren't booked in, so we had nowhere to stay. So I, I burst into tears. Yeah. So they must have felt sorry for us. It was a family-run hotel. And they threw the mother-in-law out of the tower suite. <laughs> oh, your mother-in-law? No, no their mother-in-law. Oh, the mother owner, yes. Oh, and yeah. uh, put us in the tower suite. So we had a suite of rooms with a water bed and a jacuzzi. And oh, there were a water bed for yeah, your first. You weren't uh, expecting that at all. No. <laughs> I've, never, I've never used a water. Anybody use a water bed? Yeah. Oh, good business to go I wouldn't into, recommend it. it. Yeah. Well, hey. I wouldn't recommend it. Well, well, you need a couple of tablets before you get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Lily nearly come off. Give me a pump there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, then, I'm sure that you'll survive the water yeah. bed, and I'm sure you'll <laughs> do you. well as well. Have a nice time. Welcome to all the rest of my family as well. OK. All right. Now, the idea of the game is to get from one side to the other. The winner has the chance to go into our jackpot tonight and win anything up to £3,000. You tossed the coin earlier round to decide who's going first, so if your partners would like to go to their places, we can start. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Let's play the game. Here we go. Well, that was a good luck. Good luck, Valerie. Good luck, Chris. Good luck, Sydney. All right, everybody in their places. OK, so the first category is for you, Cindy. Uh, in your own time, two, three, or four. It's two. Two. Cock and Bull Stories is the category. Here's your first move. This symbolises the British character. John Bull. And for your second move, a type of plum. Bullage. What did you say? Bullage. Bullis is right. I'll take that. OK, two moves. There we go. All right. Yeah. Say bullage, Jack. It's bullish there. Yeah. First green, absolutely free. Now, you've got to avoid those hotspots. What is a hotspot? None. OK, strike the screen, Jack. Let's see what you got in your first one. A hundred pound. You want to bank that or is there nothing on the next screen? What are you going to do? Go on, he It's a hundred pound. You going on? Yes, please. Sure. OK, strike the next screen, Jack. A microwave oven and a hundred pound. There we go. All right. We go on to the next category, which is with you, Chris. It's exotic women. Two, three or four. Exotic women. I'll go for two, please. Two. This was a famous spy. <laughs> she was a famous spy. Kit Cockney? <laughs> no idea. No, no I'm idea. afraid it's wrong, I'm afraid. No uh, this was a famous spy. Matahari. Matahari is right, and this one had a five octave voice. Carmen Miranda. Is wrong, I'm afraid. Chance now for you, Cindy. This one had a five octave voice. Ema Sumac. Ema Sumac is right, the two moves are yours. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm to a flying start there, Jack. Off you go. Strike the screen. Oh. All right, you've got that one out of the way. I don't think you've lost anything by that. We come back to you again now, Chris. All right, you've got another chance right, here. Right. Singers, two, three, or four. Yeah, we're Should be better on this. Yeah, we'll go for three. Three. <laughs> oh, good lad. All right. <laughs> which singers are predominantly associated with which songs? This one sang Strangers in the Night. It's Sinatra. And this one was mad about Mona Lisa. That's King Cole. And who sang about Mr. Wonderful? Oh. If you're not sure... I'll take... go Judy Garland. Oh. Ah. Wrong. Bad luck. This, so, who sang Mr. Wonderful? Peggy Lee. That's it. You take the three moves. OK. <laughs> All right. Did well there, the young man, but he uh, just missed it on the third one there. OK, strike right the screen, Jack. Off you go. A car stereo. Do you want to bank that or risk nothing on the next screen? Are you going on? Um, yes. No car stereo? No. All right. Never mind, Jack. Answer phone and the car stereo. You want to bank that or you want to risk this? It's an answer machine and a car stereo. You going on? Mm -hmm. If you bank them, you keep them. Oh, no, she said go on. You she sure? Go on. She says to go on. All right, it's up to you. Take a chance. So strike the screen. Yeah. Chinese eyes, the answer machine, and the car. Well done. <laughs> All right, fancy the chances there. Back with you now, Cindy. Green things. Oh, we've got this handy. <laughs> Two. Two. All right, a London borough. Uh, Greenwich. Uh, an environmental pressure group. Greenpeace. That's it. Two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> yeah, you're quite excited, Jack, aren't you? Ooh, Get over yeah. a place here. Rustic garden seat. <laughs> Who wants that? <laughs> Do you want a garden seat? 
No? <laughs> Over here, Jack. There you go. All right, strike the screen. <laughs> A crate of champagne and a Russian garden seat. There you are. Ah, there we are. Have the champagne and got something to fall on as well. There you go. <laughs> right, cars, Chris. We've got to get you started. Two, three, or four. Cars. Two. Two. Which manufacturers made the following models? Herald. Out uh, of your time, yeah, actually. Yeah, really Triumph. Well done. Good guess. Cool niche. Cool Rolls niche. Royce. Hey? Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce. Two moves are yours. OK. There we go. All right, we're off, Debbie. OK? Right. It's unlucky. No, that one's free. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in there at all, Debbie. You can hit it if you want. <laughs> Design a dressing gown. You want a bank that or this is nothing on the next screen? Going over. All right, strike the screen. All right. Windsurfing lessons and the designer dressing gown. Okay. <laughs> you fancy that, do you, Chris? Yeah, I fancy that. A bit yeah. surfing. You like all the all the butch things? Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, back with you, Valerie. Uh, the category is maps. I don't, how are your maps? You got two, three, or four? Two, please. Two. All right. What do the following signify on an ordnance survey map? A red circle. A railway station. Very good. And the letters PH. Public house. Well done. That's it. You two moves. All right. Okay. All right. Strike screen, Jack. I've got a funny feeling. I know what's in here. <laughs> what, what? What is it, Jack? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, there you go, Jack. Now, the next category for you, nostalgia. Two, three, two, or four? Two, please. Two or three, actually. Two. Two, please. Right. Who had a hit with Some of These Days? Sophie Tucker. And this lady sang Softly, Softly. Ruby Murray. Two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> Well done. I have to go Jack, shut the screen. Yeah, but... <laughs> well, you got rid of it anyway. You haven't lost anything yet. Now we go on to the next category. Back with you, Kiss. Not Kiss, Kiss. Chris. <laughs> That's good enough. No, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Movie stars. Two, three, or four. We'll go two. Well, that's a minimum you can go. <laughs> Just a two? Yeah. All right. He was the star of Dances with Wolves. Costner. Kevin uh, Costner. All right. He was the godfather. Brand, I mean, That's it. Two moves are yours. <laughs> Pots, Pots. We're all giving him little signs there, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Work the strategy out of you. There you go. Strike the screen. A complete works of Vera Lynn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a wind-up, isn't it? How did the youngest couple get the complete works of Vera Lynn? <laughs> <laughs> not, 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 I'd bank it personally. Hot spot. We'll it. Please make it a hot spot. <laughs> bye bye, Vera. Bye bye. <laughs> Time for biddies. Right, OK, we go on to the next category, which is colourful facts. <laughs> for you, Valerie, two, three, or four. Colourful facts. I know it doesn't mean much to you, but take two, it. Two, please. Two. Uh -huh. What was, was a British soldier called during the American War of Independence? Red coat. Well done, well guessed. And which of these names refers to a kind of bird? A which... black cap. That's right, two moves are yours. Well done. <laughs> oh, that's the lucky one. one yeah, Where'd you get that right. one from? <laughs> oh, you had another one. Hey. You've got it all worked out, hasn't you, Valerie? Do you like this all the time? <laughs> oh, well, there you are. Okay, Jack, <laughs> off you go. Fridge. <laughs> <laughs> 150 pounds on the fridge. Well done. Back now with you. Uh, Cindy, it's the category is the Bible. There's two moves, a minimum of two questions. Which is the first book of the Bible? Genesis. And whose wife was turned to a pillar of salt? Lot. That's it, two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> All right, Jack, straight the screen, off you go. CDTV. You want to bank it or you want to go on? Uh, All right, go on. All right, come on then, go on, good luck to you. OK, Jack, straight the screen. A week in Malta and the television. Decide whether you're going to back those two prizes or answer the main strike it like a question. We'll find out what they're going to do in a couple of minutes' time. See you after the break. See you. Bye. Thank you.
Ah, to welcome back to part two of Strike It Lucky. Now, the situation we've got, we've got Debbie just over the halfway mark there, Jack's just a couple of monitors away from the end, and we've got the other Jack here and Cindy on the main Strike It Lucky question. Now, you've got a week in Malta and a CDTV uh, to put up on offer here. Do you want to bank those or answer the main Strike It Lucky Thank question? You. Bank it. Thank you. You're going to bank it? Yeah, he wants Thank to bank it. Oh, you're banking it. it. OK, all right. Well done. All right, we'll carry on with the show then. Back to you now, Chris. And the uh, category is boys' names. Two, three or four? Uh, we'll go three, please. Three. In the film Casablanca, what was the name of the pianist whom Humphrey Bogart asked to play it again? Sam. Right. Often the butt of Frank Bruno's jibes. Harry. And this lad was a hit for Michael Jackson. Ben. That's it. Three moves of yours. There you go. All right. OK, Debbie. Off you go. Strike the screen. Uh, £200. You want to bank it? Or this is not... Can we go on? You going on? Bank it. We'll, we'll, we'll take it. It's totally up to you. Yeah. Sure. Oh, go on, on Ad. Sure? You've got to pass the blame now. <laughs> go on, Ed. Go Off on. you go. It's up to you. Oh, new cooker and £200. You want to bank it? I think that's wise. Jeez. Well done. OK, the bank it. Well done. Right. Well, we'll come back now to you now, Valerie. You've got two screens, minimum of two questions. The category is manufacturers. What is paper made from? Pulp. That's right. And what is chlorine made from? Salt. That's right. The two moves are yours. <laughs> All right. Start for you now, Jack. There you go. Strike the screen. <laughs> oh, that is unbelievable. <laughs> OK, now, I don't have to ask you a question, Cindy, because you're on the main... Strike it lucky question here. You've banked those prizes. You did well. You took a chance that you'd come back again. And I'm going to ask you this question. You can confer as loud as you like, then I'll ask you the question again, and I must have an answer. OK, here we go. You would really strike it lucky if you wrote a bestseller. Who wrote The Darling Buds of May? Just take a guess if you're not Is sure, Jack. Bennett. Is that your answer? Yes. It's not, I'm afraid. The answer is H.E. Bates. Never oh. mind, you haven't lost anything there. And we carry back. You've got another chance now, Chris. You're two away from the end. A minimum of two questions. This is unbelievable. I found an island is a category. Two the yeah, you're going to have two anyway. <laughs> the legendary island in the musical South Pacific. The legendary island in the musical South Pacific. Oh. Hawaii? See the musical? No, I didn't. Hawaii. Is wrong, I'm afraid, Chris. Sorry, <laughs> Valerie. You... Valley High. Is right, and an island in the Irish Sea. An island in the Irish Sea. Isle of Man. That's right, that's <laughs> it. Yeah. All right. Start the screen, Jack. Let's see where you go. And a week oh, in Marbella. Yeah. Uh, do you want to bank that, or this is number? Oh no, do you want to bank it, or do you want to answer the question? What are you going to do? Go on. You go for the question. You sure? All right, they're going for the question. Absolute quiet, as we had last time. And uh, here's your question, OK? All right. Actor Jack Warner struck it lucky when he was cast in the lead role of a popular police television series. His character was Dixon. Where was his beat? Dark Dark green. Green. You're going on to the night. Nice <laughs> Well done, Jack. Give a nice round of applause. All right. OK, well, let's tell you what you're going to take away with you tonight. First of all, we've got uh, Jack and Cindy. You've won a microwave oven, a rustic garden seat, a crate of champagne, a CD TV, a hundred pound and a week in malt. You had a nice night with us? Wonderful. You're lovely. Nice to meet you, Cindy. You look after yourself. And nice to meet you, Jack. All right, stay as you are. Good luck. All right, well done, Chris and Debbie. You've won a designer dressing gown, a windsurfing lessons, a new cooker, and a couple of hundred pounds. Thanks OK, well right. done, Chris. Cheers. Thanks for the song. Cheers. Keep the Cheers. Cheers. Nice Thanks, Thanks, Cheers. 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 See ya. Look after him. Cheers. All right. And now, I think it worked. Oh, he's going to have it. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's tell you what you've won already. You've got a car stereo, an answer phone, a Chinese rug, a fridge, £150, a week in Marbella, a chance now to make that up, anything up to more than £3,000. Let's give a nice round of applause. Come on, Jack. Just stand there in front of me and Jack inside your daughter. There we are. All right, this is how you're going to play the end game. You play the game as you did before, but this time you play the game horizontally and vertically. I'll ask you which move you want to make you shout out top, middle, or bottom. If you look at the screen there now, you can see we've got 10 arrows, 10 questions, and 10 hotspots. If a question comes up that'll be true or false, give me an incorrect answer. It becomes a hotspot for a correct answer, you gain another move. Go for our top money tonight. You cannot get any more than two hotspots, 2,000, no more than three, and 1,000, no more than four. You go for our top money and you fail to get right the way across. We'll give you £300 for every successful move you make, £200 for 2,000.
thousand and a hundred for a thousand. Before you make your mind up, oh, the computer will jumble them all up. <laughs> all right, they're all gone. The prizes are safe. What do you want? One thousand, two thousand, or three thousand? What do you think they should do? Three thousand. You go for the three thousand. Let's give a nice round of applause. Come on, Valerie, over you come. You just stand there. Good luck. Tell your daughter just yeah. about there. That's lovely. Yeah, All right, now, for your first £300, top, middle or bottom, where do you want to go? Top. Oh, top. Go for the top, top. The top one for the first 300 Yes, we're on our way. Yeah, OK. Middle All one. right, for £600, top, middle or bottom, where are you middle. going? Middle. Middle. The middle one for £600. Oh, this question. Right, true or false? Uh, Auckland is situated on New Zealand's South Island. Is that true or false? True. It's false, I'm afraid. It's on the North Island. That's your first. Never mind, we've got a way to go yet. Sorry about that, Jack. OK, top, middle or bottom for £600? Bottom. Hey, bottom. Yes, you going with bottom. that, Valerie? The bottom one for 600 Oh. Oh, dear. Not a very good start. Well, we've got 300 OK, Jack, so let's now... No more hotspots now. OK, just come in and touch, Valerie. Good luck to you. All right, for £600, top, middle or bottom? Where are you going to go? Come on. Middle. Hey, middle. The middle one for the 600 and can't miss. Hot spot. Oh, it's a question. Oh. All right, you've got to get this right. OK. Count Leo Tolstoy wrote the novel War and Peace. Three. That's right, £600. Yeah. OK, over your cup. All right, for £900, top, middle or bottom? Oh, just come round there, Jack. For £900. Tough, Michael. Yeah, the top one, the top one for 900 It's another oh. question. Oh, all right. <laughs> General Custer's last stand was at Little Bighorn. Is that true or false? True. True. That's right, yeah. 900. Well done. Here you come. All yeah, right. Yeah. Here you come. Just come over here, Valerie. Just stand there. That's lovely. OK, all right. For uh, 1,200, top, middle, or bottom? Come on, you do one. Middle. Huh? Middle. The middle one, please. Come on. Yeah! Now for £1,500, top, middle or bottom? Come on, you're doing well. Bottom. Bottom. The bottom one for 1500 come on. Yes! yes! <laughs> well done. For £1,800, top, middle or bottom? Where are you going to go? £1,800, Jack. Come on. Middle. The middle one for 1800 Yes! <laughs> I know the For £2,100, top, middle or bottom? Come on, you're on the low. Uh, the top one! The top one for 2001. Yes! Aha! Whoa! Oh, gee! Did you get the whole thing? Oh! 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 Middle. Up. Middle. Up. Middle. You go for it. Go for middle. 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 The middle one for the jackpot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, whatever. Come on, they've done very well. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Come over here, Jack. Just stand this side, Valerie. You stand this side. Come over a little way. All right, let's have a look at the screens. Let's see what they all were. All right. Oh, what about Oh, look at that. They're all, you know, you, you, just the, you, know, you need the bottom one, never mind. And OK, this is what you want tonight. You've got a car stereo, the answer phone machine, the Chinese rug, the fridge, a week in Marbella, the money you won earlier, plus the money you won there, means you've got to take home with you tonight £2,250. Yeah, <laughs> OK, well done. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I'll see you at home sometime. All right. And we'll see you in your home next week, we hope. Good night, God bless. All right, tell us. Bye-bye, good night. Thank you. Get the offer, get the answer, get back home, because someone's coming to get you. The Chase, next on Challenge.